Hi there producers, welcome back to a new Diving Life tutorial. Another week, another tutorial. And this week's uh, tutorial is about return tracks and how to use them playfully. So when you have a loop, you can start uh, yeah, like launching clips and stopping clips, but you can also use some more other stuff, uh, like some creative stuff to make it more interesting. So I have a little loop here that I prepared. So that's this one. I have a lead. Just a, a simple setup to show you what's possible to be creative with this because I can stop the, the bass, you know, create, create some breaks, whatnot. But I can also do more. So to start with, on my master, I have this filter, this auto filter. Uh, with the Q on my keyboard, I can turn it off or on. And that's because I clicked here, up here on key and then clicked on the on off button and assigned the cue to it so every time i press the cue it will go off on or off so i can create breaks you know that's nice just like in a club using that that low cut you know like a real dj so um another thing uh that i have is a lot of scent and returns especially returns so i have a small verb with a small reverb around 600 and 40 milliseconds with a small size, so it's actually kind of small. Let's send a clap to it. So I can actually send some of my um, drum sounds to it to create sort of an atmosphere. Then I've got a medium verb, which is a bit longer. And it's like two, you know, almost three seconds with a bit bigger size. Then I have a big one, the big verb. Really cool to send some, some claps to once in a while. It's a long one, 14 seconds big size uh, then I have a delay which is a 1-4 delay you see here it's a 1-4 1-4 delay and um, then I have another delay which is obviously a 1-8 and it's ping pong which is always cool left and right uh, a 1-12 delay on uh, F which I really like as well and then I have the 1-16 but it's dotted you see here it's dotted, so it's actually not really ta -ta -ta, but it's more like swingy. Dotted means swing. And then I have the crazy delay of the crazy channel, which is basically a, um, a um, beat repeat, which I will tell you more about. So let me close the sense again. And why is this handy? You know, what, what do you have with, what, what can you do with this? So if I play all the drums and I want to create some more of space, I can actually send these, maybe the open height as well. Not so much, maybe. And if I now mute the channel, it's getting way more dull, you know? So it's nice to have this. You know, it's really, uh, really cool to set a sense of space already. So that makes the drums way more interesting. And um, so, yeah, how can I use the rest? Well, let me do a little jam with just the drums and show you how I can actually create um, interesting transitions because if I have a break I can filter it with the cue make a low cut so I can sort of create a break and I can use for instance this this long um, long verb you know which is on C uh, to use a, a sort of tail for the drums and because I grouped all the drums I can not only use the clap but also use uh, the whole session so let's make a a break here and then we slowly bring up the reverb the big reverb one, two, three, four. And then I close the send so nothing goes to the send anymore. And I get this tail. And sometimes you can send the clap maybe. You know, or sometimes you can send the open high to the big verb. Pretty cool. Maybe a delay if I want to stop the stop the drum, send them to this this uh, this 112 delay. And I have my transition. Isn't that cool? I really like to to play around with it. So um, yeah, you can also also use it also, of course on music stuff. So let's say I'm playing this whole loop, and uh, I want to go into this this part where there's no drums. I I can delay the drums, and then we can go back building up the drums, and then uh, stop the lead at some point. And I'll create the transitions and explain what I do. So here we go. We're all into the music, you know. We have this. So now we we want to create a break or a moment in the next scene where we actually drop all the drums. So here we go. Make 
That's the way you can use your sense creatively and playful and then have, yeah, like lots of stuff to play with and create your own, like, um, yeah, your own, your own drops and transitions live. I'm now just using a, a computer, uh, a, a computer keyboard and a mouse. But if you use um, something like Push or an Akai APC40 or any other um, MIDI controller, you can actually create a, a template for yourself where you can actually jam your tracks together and just record them straight into arrangement view. So um, this is really cool. And I have this uh, this beat repeat set up here, which is uh, pretty decent if you uh, if you send some. Um, some drums to it, let's say we send the drums. Oh, send it to the verb. This is pretty cool. We have this. You can change the grid. Which is cool. You can also add a delay next to it. The amount of variations tell you how many how many variations you get. Maybe one. Always the same. But you can also make a lot of different ones. Use the pitch decay. So you can create all cool effects. So I like to have these scents with all these reverbs with these delays and maybe a crazy chain. You can go all out. You can add a beat repeat and a delay together with a flanger and send some sounds to it. Record these sounds and reverse them. You can think of all kind of creative uh, stuff with this. So I hope this inspires you to create a template where you can really um, yeah, create a jammy feel with. So... Um, hope it helps let me know if you like the the tutorial like and subscribe maybe share it if you wish uh, follow lessons in life on my facebook uh, or you can actually um, go to um, uh, my facebook group uh, lessons in life and the discord or you can go to the website or youtube.com slash lessons live anyway you know the drill uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>